in St. Petersburg. It's a stark warning from the Russian head of state. If anyone sets out to intervene in the current events from the outside and creates unacceptable threats for us that are strategic in nature, they should know that our response will be lightning fast. We have all the tools for this that no one else can boast of having. We won't boast about it, we'll use them if needed. And I want everyone to know that. As his troops blow up bridges and railways in an attack. We won't boast about it, we'll use them if needed. And I want everyone to know that. Sets out to intervene in the current events from the outside and creates unacceptable threats for us that are strategic in nature, they should know that our response will be lightning fast. We have all the tools for this that no one else can boast of having. We won't boast about it, we'll use them if needed. And I want everyone to know that. All right, Shalom. This is Har one by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say Ka Halayim, Layahawa by Shem Yahushai. By Hashem, Harakakodash, Ma'amav. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Yeah, man, you heard Putin, uh, the chief head of state over there in uh, Russia, Crimea, right? Moscow. Um, also known as Gog and Magog in the scriptures. Now, um, uh, Putin put out a threat yesterday or two days ago saying that they would respond lightning fast to the UK NATO you know um, and also um, to America mainly they talking to America all right <clears throat> so um, yeah I want to get a couple of scriptures with that in mind because Putin it seems like everything he say is almost prophetic now, you know. He's part of the prophecy that's speaking. When he when when he make a move, it's really the Lord causing him to make that move. All right, controlling the heart of the kings. And he said, if America keeps, um, especially boasting about um, supplying uh, Ukraine with weapons and missiles and strategic. Uh, setups and uh, weaponry then Russia said they're going to respond lightning fast that's that's like you know and he, he's subliminally speaking about the missiles the ICBM missiles nuclear missiles nuclear deterrence you know um, the avant-garde and he knows that they don't have they don't stand a chance against them but once they go nuclear there's no turning back and that's what America needs. You, you know, NATO and the UK, they need this war. But they don't want it to fall on them over in the UK. They want to push it towards America. But they, America needs this war so they could blame it on Russia with the uh, economy. All right. So, um, and, they, and they'll be able to get funds and help from the NATO countries, just like with September 11th. So um, this guy Putin's not playing, man. And he said we will not boast about it, meaning there will be no warning. This is the only warning you're going to get. They will not boast about it. He said everybody knows what they got. They got the biggest missiles on the damn earth, the fastest missiles, the invincible missiles. You know, it's like you, you want to play around, go ahead. I'm not warning no more. I'm not going to boast about it like America does. We're just going to use them They're lightning fast. And when you say lightning, that's parabolic. That could be fire quick <laughs> All right, in a flash but that's that's prophetic man because this war is going to be a fast war it's a nuclear war See, this war should be what with burning and fuel of fire so it's going to be fast man you know it ain't going to be like them long drawn out wars and in one hour America going to be, be destroyed yeah you're going to have proxy wars yeah you're going to have um, missiles shot off in different places but the, ultimately, once the climax hits, and all of them cast their missiles onto this place of America, Babylon, it's gonna be 200 million, 200 million uh, warheads that's gonna hit this place. All right. 
Revelations 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly, man. All right, so what's that? The third war, World War Three, is coming quickly, like lightning fast. All right, the second woe is past, man. You know. And uh, yep, World War Two. Now we're going into what World War Three. And the Lord said, once the missiles get shot, according to on uh, the same chapter right here. Um. All hell gonna break loose, man. Nothing but fire upon the earth. All right, right now they're doing proxies. Um, they may drop some nukes over there in Europe, you know. Yeah, but eventually it's gonna aim right over here. It's gonna be fast, quick. All right, so what was uh, 1938 or 1939 all the way to 1945 with Russia? That'd be almost like a six, seven year war. So this war is going to be quick, quicker than that. It ain't going to last that long. You know, but once, once America brought in the atomic bomb, the war ended. It was over. <laughs> That's it. They couldn't nobody mess with that. And Russia started getting ready and preparing their missiles. Because once the missile gets shot, it's over. All right. And Russia knows that. They're like, yo, we ain't going to boast about it. But if you force me, force him to use it, he's going to use them. There ain't going to be no stopping them from that point. So behold, the third woe is coming quickly, man. Okay? And that's the energy right now, fast, because the Lord is coming back quickly. He's ready to return. Yahweh's ready to send Yahweh Shah. So everything now, Apostle Hart called, uh, coined this year the year of the turn up. So that. It also goes into thing moving quickly. And look at look at Putin. He's talking about yeah, it's gonna be lightning fast. His response. Ezekiel thirty eight and nine. Thou shalt ascend like a like a and come like a storm. See, Russia talking about Russia. Gog and Magog. You know? So thou shalt descend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. And all thy bands and many people with thee, man. So when they go up against the land of Israel, you know, and they come up against America, they're going to use missiles against this place. And the missiles are going to be like an army. This is uh, Joel 2 and 1. Below ye the trumpet in Zion. And that's what we're doing by teaching his word and warning our people, man, because it's coming quickly. And the Lord said that, behold, I come quickly. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. The holy mountain represents the government of Israel, which would be the elect, the government that's upon Yahweh Shah's shoulders. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. So everybody's going to be here trembling because it's going to be, a, well, especially when Russia finally, or whoever says they're at war, and, it, and the threat of missiles hitting this place is a reality. That's when that, what, the whole land is going to tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, man. All right? So it's near. It's nigh at hand, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There have not been ever the light, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. Why? Because it's going to be missiles. All right. And, and after that, um, yep, it says here, a fire devoured before them. See, this is a technical war. This is a uh, he said, this war shall be fought with burning and fuel of fire, ICBM missiles. All right. Um, for a fire, a fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. Okay. So behind them, what's that? The missiles, uh, the, the, the nuclear fire that pushes them around the earth. You know, and then, um, and before them, what? If behind them, a flame burn, burneth, and a fire devours before them, man. So it devours anything in its path. Those are intercontinental ballistic missiles. And behind them, a desolate, so like a, and the land is as a garden of Eden before them. So everything looks beautiful. America's all glorified, you know. But it's like, almost like a garden of Eden. But then what he said, 
and behind them a desolate wilderness. So it's going to turn this place to a desert. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so that shall they run. Like the noise of a chariot upon the tops of mountains, shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of the fire that devoured the stubble as a strong people set in battle array. All right, and that's what Russia's talking about, man. They're like, yo, once I send them missiles, ain't no talking. All right, not going to boast about it. We're just going to shoot them off. All right, so I'm not going to read this whole chapter. I'll make it pretty quick. Um, here you go. This is um, Psalm 7 and 8. He have also prepared for him the instruments of death. So the Lord prepared these, these missiles through Russia, all right, and their scientists, and ultimately teaming back during World War II, which is uh, the Germans. He have also prepared for him the instruments of death, that's the missiles, he ordained of his arrows against the persecutors, so the Lord set it up to where those missiles are going to be shot against uh, the great Satan, all right, which would be America today, Esau's uh, the setup. All right, Satan means adversary. Okay, and that's why Russia just displayed their missile called the Satan too. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity and have conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. So America, the Edomites over here in America, they've done that and brought forth falsehoods and conceived mischief. What's that? New World Order. And he made a pit and digged it. So they set the pit up, they set everything up, and he... They set the trap, and they digged it, all right? And it's fallen into the ditch which he made, see? So they're falling into the same trap that they set. His mistress shall return upon his own head. So everything they're doing and funding Ukraine and setting up weapons so they can bring more um, death and destruction to Russia, his mischief shall return upon his own head. So it's going to be return, return right upon America. It's going to be quick, though. And his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate, man. All right. Get one more precept real quick. All right. Uh, all right, Luke 10 and 18. And he said unto them, I beheld, and Satan, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. All right, so this is it, man. So they're going to be falling fast. This is going to be quick. It's in one hour, Revelation 18. In one hour, so great riches it shall be brought to naught. All right, so this place is going to be destroyed in one hour. Um, now, is Putin talking about that now? No, he's saying he's going to be a response over to the UK and to America over there is going to be lightning fast dealing with that proxy war but eventually he's going to go with ezekiel 38 and say i will go up to the land of unwalled villages he's going to think an evil thought all right was, was that a bad thought all right so with that hey man we in the times where things are speeding up you know um matter of fact end it with this uh have a cook two and one because that's why the lord's giving us warning because once that this ball gets rolling down that hill. It's going to be fast and it ain't going to stop. Habakkuk 2 and 1. 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. So at that moment, it's, it's going to happen. Be manifest. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Man, it's going to be quick. All right, with that, I'm going to say shalom.